Hey, the Mature Simmer here. So we've got another announcement from Giants about Farming Simulator 22, this time about video. So let's read through it and I'll provide whatever input I can. NVIDIA DLSS and DLAA coming to Farming Simulator 22 at launch. Don't worry about your frames. NVIDIA's DLSS technology will be available in Farming Simulator 22 at launch. All owners of a GeForce RTX GPUs will benefit from the new technology by NVIDIA. See a comparison video below. So it does sound like this is only going to apply to people with these type of graphics cards. So if this isn't you, I guess, uh, unfortunately, it won't help you. But for those that it will benefit, let's read on. What are DLSS and DLAA? DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling, an AI rendering technology that increases graphics performance using dedicated Tensor Core AI processors on graphics cards of the GeForce RTX series. This unique, I'm sorry, this technique renders frames at a lower resolution than displayed. But by using deep learning, a type of AI, the frames are upscaled again. It fills in the missing information so that they look as sharp as you would expect at the native resolution. DLAA is NVIDIA's deep learning anti-aliasing, an anti-aliasing feature that is basically DLSS with the upscaling portion removed. The AI is focusing on better anti-aliasing instead of upscaling the image like DLSS. NVIDIA's AI is focused on improving anti-aliasing at the native resolution. How does Farming Simulator 22 benefit from DLSS, DLAA? In short, higher resolutions, sharper image quality, and higher frame rates. So they do have a video on the release here, so that may be something you want to go and take a look at yourself, because I don't think uh, playing it and then rendering it back is going to provide the same quality, so I'm not going to go ahead and, and spend time to show the video here. Enabling DLSS in the game settings means a beautiful, sharp image without a heavy impact on the frame rate. Need an example? With DLSS enabled, you can output Farming Simulator 22 in 4K, while it is, in reality, only rendered at 1080p resolution. The image is upscaled by the smart AI, which fills in the missing information. So, you render the game at 1080p or 1440p. DLSS fills in the missing information, and the result? higher frame rates without a noticeable loss in image quality compared to 4K. Find out more about DLSS at NVIDIA. If you don't own a 1440p or 4K screen, or even 8K if you're one of the few, DLSS still can have a positive impact on your experience, making a higher frame rate or reduced power consumption noise development attainable depending on your system. Isn't that something? Enabling DLAA gains you a sharper image at the native resolution directly. It's designed to smooth the edges between pixels, the so-called aliasing, which creates this stair-stepping effect. DLAA is a more efficient alternative to anti-aliasing techniques like MSAA, TAA, and FXAA while aiming to provide a clear and smooth image even in motion. So if your RTX graphics card can handle the native resolution you aim for anyway, DLAA basically just sharpens the image using an AI. So I will first admit, I'm not a graphics expert. I certainly understand some of what they're sharing here, um, but I definitely don't understand all the technical lingo that they've used so you know maybe for some of you this is a little clearer but at minimum it sounds like we'll get higher frame rate and less or, or and smoother edges which that I know is aliasing 
uh, if you have an NVIDIA card. So certainly, again, this won't apply, I don't believe, to console players. But for PC players with the appropriate graphics cards, it sounds like Giants has gone ahead and, and again, taken a pretty cool step upon launch. So that's the new news. Talk to you next time.